Christ our Pascha, the uh, catechism of the Ukrainian Greco-Catholic Church is uh, an achievement because it, this is the first catechism produced by a Catholic Church that is not modeled on the structure of the so-called Catechism of the Catholic Church, which was published by Rome. So here, the largest of the Eastern Catholic Churches is precisely putting forward a catechism that is uh, based on a structure that is uh, more native to Eastern Christianity, specifically the Byzantine tradition. And the first part of the catechism, which is the doctrinal part of the catechism, is uh, structured on the anaphora of the liturgy of Saint Basil the Great. Now that's the liturgy that we celebrate only ten times a year uh, in our liturgical calendar, the Sundays of the Great Fast, Sundays of Lent, uh, also on the Feast of St. Basil, which is January 1st, as well on the eves of uh, the Nativity of our Lord and uh, uh, Theophany and also on uh, Holy Saturday. That's the only times that we celebrate the liturgy of St. Basil the Great. It has a, uh, a much longer set of what we often refer to as the priest's prayers, uh, often wrongly called the silent prayers. These were originally meant to be said out loud, and they have a, uh, a beautiful synthesis of the church's doctrinal teaching. You know, who God is, what salvation is all about, who Christ is, who the Holy Spirit is, how um, the divine plan unfolds, the plan of salvation. Uh, all, of, uh, all of this is summarized in a doxological form, in other words, in a form that glorifies, gives glory to God. A prayer form, a worship form. And so, instead of just taking a bunch of concepts and saying, okay, we'll start from these questions, abstract questions, what we do is we enter into that liturgical text. Um, the liturgy of St. John Chrysostom that we're much more familiar with because we celebrated on all the other uh, days when we have divine liturgy throughout the year, um, has shorter prayers. They're probably older th than these from the liturgy of Saint uh, Basil the Great. It's attributed to Saint Basil the Great. It doesn't mean that he actually wrote the, these words. Uh, neither did Saint John Chrysostom probably write the, the words. These are liturgies that are attributed to them. Um, the Anaphora, that means the Eucharistic prayer, the, the prayers that uh, accompany the offering of uh, the gifts of bread and wine uh, to become the sacrifice that, uh, where Christ offers himself for the life uh, of the world uh, in the Eucharist. Uh, these prayers uh, have uh, this incredible doctrinal content and that's what the first part of Christ our Pascha is all about. It's all about the doctrine, uh, the teaching on who God is, who we are before God, and God's plan for us from the beginning, after the fall, after sin enters the picture, and then God's ultimate plans for us uh, at the end of the age.